where are they now? Horses that thrilled us over the years at Emerald Downs dot the landscape all around Washington State, thriving in varied second careers. Claimed to race at Emerald Downs by the late George and Norma Sedlock, Crowning Meeting made a big impression on Northwest fans racing locally at ages 6, 7, and 8. Bred in California, his great career took him on a tour of that state, and he won North and South, Santa Anita, Hollywood, Del Mar, Bay Meadows, and Golden Gate. In his first season at Emerald Downs, he recorded the highest buyer speed figure in track history. But this is a complete procession, and Gary Bays will take riding honors on crowning meeting. Crowning meeting wins by eight lengths. That 10 length triumph at one mile earned him a 116 speed figure. In 2002, he was a leading contender for the Long Acres Mile with races like this. Crowning Meeting is mowing it down. Road of Fleet, two in front. Crowning Meeting on the outside, getting it. Crowning Meeting coming quickly. Crowning Meeting gets the lead from Road of Fleet. A big upset. Crowning Meeting wins the Seattle Handicap. Larry and Sharon Ross trained him. The good year, he, really good year he had here, I'm almost positive he was eight. And he just was um, uh, professional, uh, so classy. I mean, just the classiest horse I've ever seen. And he was tough to train, but he liked to jog. And um, he just, he, he, had, he was on a roll that season. He had a really good year. Dr. John Stensley was his veterinarian and has kept him since 2003. When I did the actual diagnosis that ended his career, he pulled a tendon, uh, an unusual injury up high up, uh, above the knee. Uh, which is kind of unusual, but the uh, good thing about that is that they heal up great and he's never ever had an issue with it and he's done a lot of different things. He's got to, uh, he's done a little dressage, uh, a little jumping. Um, he's a great trail horse. Anybody could ride him. He, he, he's chased cows. He's a great cow horse. Um, we've packed on him. For several years, Crowner's pasture companion has been Caliph's Bluff. It's, it's the coolest thing to watch in the morning when I get up and have coffee and look out there and watch them playing. Ross gets attached to all of her horses and is kept in touch with crowning meeting. As an older guy right now, he's had a great life. Georgian Armour is still happy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>